All right, so next up, we've got Christy Jesse. There she is, Christy here, like so many others. She gives out uh, prophecy words on her channel, and she's got a pretty good following with 38,500 subscribers. Now, looking at Christy, you'd probably never guess that she's evil. Uh, here she's smiling, her sunny disposition, and oh, look at that. She's, she's even wearing a hashtag Team Jesus t-shirt. I mean, my goodness, is that even possible to deceive people while wearing that t-shirt? Oh boy, well, yeah. So anyway, we're going to look at two clips with Christy here today. As we, yes, we indeed prove that this woman does in fact lie in the name of Jesus Christ as she, like many others, has sort of this psychic-based fraudulent ministry where they merely use the name of Jesus Christ to intrigue and tickle itching ears while they draw thousands in and shipwreck their faith with their lies. So we're going to listen to that first clip. Are you ready? Roll it. Hey, everyone. I have a quick word to share today. And today's word is R-E-S-B-E-C-T on your name. It's showtime. R-E-S-P-E-C-T on your name. It's showtime, and this word isn't for everybody, so please take it to the Lord for confirmation, and always test the spirit behind every prophetic word, including mine. But if this message is for you, all of those people who could not keep your name out of their mouths are going to be forced to respect you and put respect on your name in this hour. It is showtime. The Lord is showing up and showing out in your life. He's already been blessing you. He's already been elevating you. He's already been, I'm actually releasing another word today, acceleration, elevation, vindication. This is your story right now, okay? And these people are watching you eat. And the Lord is just getting started with you. So if the, these people are salty now, whoo, they better get ready because the Lord is just dumping blessings on you in this hour. This is a right now word for many of you. All right, so I might rant a little bit here. Uh, this is absolutely ridiculous. Firstly, the word isn't for everybody. Really? Well, who's it for? She says, take it to the Lord, test the spirits. Again, really, how does this work for the lay person? But what Christie is doing here is more akin to the listener hearing their horoscope. It's a broad blanket prophecy, and it has a tactic embedded within it. If you find the blessings, you know, manifesting in your life, well, guess what? It was for you. But uh, if it wasn't, or if you didn't receive the blessings, well, yeah, remember I told you uh, that it wasn't for everybody. And because of that, you can't ever prove her to be a false prophet. Now, the word that she gave was also ridiculous. Salty people that can't keep your name out of their mouths are going to be forced to R-E-S-P-E-C-T you. God's coming through for you, girl. It's what, payback time? Does this sound biblical to you? You know, where's the gospel here? This sounds more like a Hallmark Channel movie where, you know, the evil popular girl finally gets put in her place and the listener, that's you, well, you finally win the affections of the handsome widower. This is what it is. This is like mean girls, right? And the Lord sees that and he's going to make the mean girls respect you. Absolutely ridiculous. And the Lord is just dumping blessings on you. This is also another tactic. Blessings are coming. Blessing doesn't matter. Just whatever you did, blessings are coming on you. They're, they're going to be dumped on you. Oh, and that's, you know, only if this word is for you, though. Remember, I told you it might not be for you. So if you don't get your dumping of blessings, uh, sorry. And one more thing. I told you this was going to be a little bit of a rant. This is a right now word for you or for many of you, but maybe not you. If you're not on God's blessing list, you know, might not be for you. This is actually cruel, and this is evil, what she's doing. How many people will walk away from Jesus Christ because they didn't get their dumping of blessings? This is the reality of false prophecy. What this woman is doing is evil. People will shipwreck their faith, and they will despise God. Because this woman, 
is calling on an exclusive uh, you know, amount of people to receive blessings, but it might not be for you. And so you've got desperate people listening to this, just praying that this is for them. And when those blessings don't manifest, they're going to shipwreck their faith and they're going to walk away from God because of what Jesse did here. Because they perceive, as Jesse told them, that they aren't included. And it is just dastardly. This is cruel. This is evil. But she's not done. We're going to listen to one more clip just so we can prove that this woman is false. Roll it. Hey, everyone. I have a quick word to release today. And today's word is your riches released. Incoming. Your riches released. Incoming. And this word isn't for everybody. So please... Take it to the Lord for confirmation and always test the spirit behind every prophetic word, including mine. But if this message is for you, this is a right now word, because that's what I heard in my spirit as I was going through the intro that these blessings, these riches, for some of you, this is spiritual riches, gifts, uh, spiritual gifts. For many of you, this is also financial. It's both for many of you and double for your trouble. I'm hearing in my spirit. So... Whatever you've been doing, you have been following the Lord's divine instruction. He's given you the blueprint. He's given you the cheat codes. And you've been obedient, you know, even when it hasn't always been easy, even when you've come up against a lot of warfare, uh, challenges, trials, tribulations. Many of you have just been coming out of a pruning season, a season of lack. And the Lord is blessing you now. This is a right now word. Again, I'm hearing in my spirit. Right. Well, again. Here's a word from God. Might be for you. Maybe not, though. Who knows? Certainly not God Almighty, apparently. Also, it's a right now word, and God has slipped you the cheat codes. Because, well, you know, cheating is what God does to get you the blessings, right? Or something like that. Oh, well, you know, God's just a big lovable cheater who wants to bless you. And so take a look at Christy Jesse here. Uh, she's got a big smile, and she just seems so sweet and kind, and she's really, really, really hearing from God Almighty as she stands in her kitchen having just baked a fresh apple strudel. And this is the real deal, right? Look at her, for sure, for sure. So here's a question for you as we look at some of the video titles in Christy Jesse's YouTube channel. Where's the gospel of Jesus Christ? Well, it's not there. It's not there. Again, you can clearly see that she merely uses the name of Jesus for her psychic style based channel. And everything about these so called prophetic words, well, it's all good. It's all good for some of you. Uh, maybe not most of you, but for some of you, for sure, this word is. But it's all good and it's void of the gospel of Jesus Christ. And so we see this pattern more and more. And so we want to point this out, and we want to, or at least I should say, I expressly want to uh, not recommend this woman, okay? She has picked up on a pattern. It's evil, and again, it's void of Jesus Christ. And she's going to have to stand before God and give an answer for this nonsense, because that's what it is, absolute nonsense. Just heartbreaking when you see people who completely ignore the true gospel of Jesus Christ in lieu of material blessings. Well, just for some of you. And it's just so evil. Don't let a smile and a t-shirt that says hashtag team Jesus fool you. These are the wolves in sheep's clothing that Jesus warned you about.